Hey what's up guys this is Dom from MacMixing.com and today I'm going to show you how to get quick toggle widgets on your iPhone. Um, that is for accessing things like Wi-Fi or brightness in a quicker manner than having to go through the settings menu and uh, search around in there. Like check this out, I'll hit this Wi-Fi toggle widget, go straight to my Wi-Fi settings. Or I hit the brightness widget, straight to my brightness settings. And so that's pretty much how that works and there's actually a bunch of different ones that you can use um, to toggle various aspects of your iPhone and get to certain places a lot quicker. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that and how to get it set up and whatnot and uh, we'll go from there. Alright so what you guys want to do here first is go into Safari and navigate to the link that I have listed below here. That will take you to this site, which is iPhone ZA or iPhoneza or something. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Once you're on this site, when you start scrolling down a little bit here, you'll start seeing all these links here. It says single icons about accessibility, airplane, auto lock, cellular usage, brightness, Bluetooth, date and time, FaceTime, etc. All that stuff basically. And what those will do if you click on one of them is it'll prompt you to install a shortcut link for those specific settings in your iPhone and you can also up here if you get the full icon pack there's 40 different setting toggles that you can actually install with this uh, configuration file here and so you can install all 40 of them and delete the ones you don't want or you can just install them individually so I'm going to show you how to go in let's go find Wi-Fi here okay Wi-Fi so we're going to click on that and it's going to load up and it's going to bring us to this page here and it says icon settings Wi-Fi and it has their site address here and it's unsigned they didn't sign it with the developer key but that's okay it's just a configuration file what you want to do here is just hit install it's gonna ask you uh, installing this profile will change settings on your iPhone click install now and then it's going to say done at the top so we're gonna hit done and now if we go to our home screen again you'll see right here Wi-Fi we have that little link now the little icon if you click on the icon it opens Safari real fast and then it will open your Wi-Fi network configuration and the reason why I open Safari is because iOS 5 has these new mobile configuration features that are actually uh, similar to URLs so if you launch them inside of Safari they'll actually redirect Safari to open up certain setting points on your iPhone that's pretty much how we can get one of those installed and there are several other ones that we can do like let's see here let's do video some of these I haven't tried out so it's going to prompt me again to install it. Video. I'm going to install. Install now. And it's done. So now I'm going to go back to my home screen. And there we see a video icon. Let's press that. Takes us to our video settings. Takes you to any sort of setting files that you want. If you want to have a quick toggle key to get to airplane mode, we'll hit airplane mode. And then we will be asked to install it again click install install now and then we're done so then we can go to the home screen and we have this little airplane right there so if you click that it'll take us straight to airplane mode and it actually turns it on for you so that's pretty neat it'll just turn it right on for you and you don't have to worry about doing that so what if you want to uninstall any of these what do you do you can go ahead and delete the icons it won't let us do it for the Wi-Fi one for whatever reason but deleting the icons isn't actually uninstalling the profile you want to go into settings here and now once you're in settings you're going to go to general and scroll all the way down to the bottom where you see profiles now that's not going to be there unless you have profiles installed so don't be alarmed if you can't find it if you haven't installed anything so we're going to click on profiles and you'll see we have all these different setting profiles that I've installed from that website so click on that click remove click remove and it's gone click remove just like that you guys so it's pretty simple to install these and uninstall these and it'll give you some pretty awesome uh, toggle features go ahead and check out that website you guys uh, play around with them you do also have the ability to customize the icons that are used um, for these mobile toggle widgets you have to actually use a program on uh, for Mac or Windows it's called the iPhone configuration utility and you can create your own mobile config files and you can actually set up your own icons if you have icons that you want to use for something like that for these different specific profiles and in the description down here I'm going to list all of the different uh, URLs that you can actually use 
within the iPhone configuration utility. In case you guys want to tinker with that or whatever, just Google it, iPhone configuration utility. It's on the Apple website. It's made by Apple. And uh, none of this requires any jailbreaking. I'm not jailbroken. Uh, I'm not really into jailbreaking, as some of you guys may know. Some may not. But uh, this is a pretty cool feature that was normally only available to jailbroken iPhones with uh, SB settings. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with SB settings, but it pretty much did the same thing, um, but you had to be jailbroken to use it. So that's pretty neat. It's a pretty cool feature, you guys, and I hope it was helpful. Please subscribe here. And our Twitter link is here. Facebook link is here. And thank you guys again so much for watching. This is Dom from MacMixing.com, and have a good day.